Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew with Run Guns. And today we're gonna to be checking out this product from RTS Tactical. I'm here with Rick, you wanna introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Rick Pozzi. I'm one of the instructors here at Homestead Training Center. I teach most of the classes here, 90% of the core classes here. So I'm helping them out doing a review on this uh, body armor. Yeah, so Rick is gonna give his expertise. You know, he has, does have a lot of firsthand experience wearing some body armor. And you know, we're just gonna run through it ourselves, you know, give you guys our opinions, see what we think of it. And we're also gonna go ahead and, and shoot it. This is level four plates, just so you guys are aware. And this is how it comes. We'll show you guys a little closer. But it does have these mag pouches in the front. It is an optional add-on you could do, and also the side plates as well. These are six by eight, and the plates are 10 by 12 inch. Ran this plate for a little bit today for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Very comfortable. Not very, not very heavy at all. It's about 6.3 6 pounds for a 10 by 12 plate. It's a standalone level four. Um, it, it, it's, it seems like a good plate. We're gonna shoot it later. A Little thick for me, but seems like a good plate. Yeah, so they do offer, like if this is too thick for you, I believe it was 1.03 inches in, in thickness. They do offer also level three. So if you feel like level three is a little bit more appropriate for you, it's gonna be thinner, it's gonna be lighter, but obviously a little bit less protection than level four. Yeah. Right, so, and a lot of guys will run, instead of having the level four side plates, you know, they'll run some soft like 3A body armor for the side plates. You know, these are optional that come with it. So like Rick, for example, I know is not too fond of wearing the side plates, right Rick? Yeah, I've never worn it before. So Just slick in the back, on the sides. Yeah, you know, he's also carrying a bunch of other gear, you know, professionally, so it just kind of adds up, yeah. you know. But uh, but you did run with the, the side plates just for this review a little bit. You know, what did you think about it? I did. For the 20 minutes, initially, I could feel that they were there, but by the time we were pretty much running our drills, getting our footage, you could barely tell that they were there. So, but that was just, you know, standing and everything. It, it wasn't uncomfortable at all. Actually, the whole vest felt very comfortable, very secure, wasn't wobbling around. It was very adjustable. It was, it, it seemed good vest. Yeah, so they are curved, you know, the, the, it does have some mesh here that's pretty breathable, which I think definitely does help. It does have good padding on the shoulders for you guys that are gonna be wearing it, you know, for several hours a day. It's pretty quick on and off. It's also very adjustable. As you can see, me and Rick are two different size guys. You know, I'm more of a slim kind of build and we were able to adjust it pretty easily for either both of us, right? Yeah. Didn't have too many issues, it was pretty quick, I yep. think, to, to adjust. So depending on your size, you know, I think it's fairly universal, although there are different sizes. Uh, in the body, you know, in the in the world of you know body armor, right? Um, it does have a sappy cut, yep. right? So the it is a sappy cut. Sappy plates. Yeah. So you know, didn't have too many issues with it. Again, the side plates are optional add-on, and then the pouches here are optional as well. I believe it was three eighty nine, if I'm not mistaken. But this is for the level four setup. You could also get a level three setup, which is you know a lot less expensive and something to have in the house, you know, for emergencies. You know, could be pretty cool for a civilian or also in the professional world as well. Although, Rick, you were telling me a little bit about comms, you know, so guys that want to run comms on it. Yeah, if you're going to be running this from a professional standpoint, some guys like to have, or some vests will come with actual specific tabs, so on and so forth, to be able to run the cabling for comms. That's the one thing that I noticed it doesn't have. Honestly, it's 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 an easy workaround. You know, former military, we used to easy find easy ways around things, but some guys might want to find that important. Yeah, and then, it, you know, obviously it has the cummerbund. We mentioned that it was pretty adjustable. You could actually remove it all together. So if you don't want to run side plates on this at all, you don't have to. You know, it does have molly all the way around. It does have this carry handle here in the back. You know, it looks pretty solid. Everything is really well stitched. We didn't have any issues with it coming apart or anything like that. Um, any other feedback with it, Rick? No, it was comfortable when I wore it. So I think it's I think it's good to go. I think it's a really good viable option for some guys that just want a plate carry at home just for if things go sideways. Awesome. And then we also have an extra plate that RTS donated to us, and we're actually going to be testing it out. We have four different calibers. We have 10 millimeter. We have 5.56. Five, we have some green tip M855. We have 7.62 by 39, some AK rounds, and we also have some 7.62 by 51, some 308. I'm going to be shooting with my POF Revolution. So we actually have a rubber dummy tarp here. We're going to tape it on, so, you know, so it has some back pressure to it. It's not just hanging in the air, make it look more realistic. And we're going to see what it actually can withstand, you know, based on back, back face deformation. We're going to see what we there and actually what's able to penetrate and how many shots it takes to actually penetrate. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and let's get started.
All right, so first up, I have the Glock 20. We have a 10 millimeter here, and we have, actually have a really hot load, shooting at 2,400 feet per second. So we're gonna see how it does. All right, guys, I'm shooting 855 green tip out of an 11 and a half inch BSM. All right, so next up, we're going to do some Red Army Standard 762 by 39 out of my Arsenal Sam 7SF, you know, a little AK action here. See how it does. All right, so we're gonna be shooting my 762 by 51, 308. It's my POF Revolution, and we're between seven and 10 yards away. Let's see how it does. All right, so we did all four different calibers, actually five shots, since we did two with a 10 millimeter here. So Rick, what'd you see when we did it? 10 millimeter, nothing. You can barely even tell there was a hit. And then you got green tip, 5.56 five, green tip right here. Sl very slight deformation in the back. Uh, that was a 7.62 by 39, 8 round. And then that one was the, uh, the 308, 7.62 by 51. The biggest thing is, I mean, there's absolutely no material left between these two holes. So the plate picked it all up. It absorbed everything. Yeah, so, we just have some big craters here. So. Yep. Maybe some concerns with like additional rounds going through. We'll test that out and see. But at least our preliminary test, you know, it passed it. Did have, like we said, some back face deformation. We're able to check out. But, you know, nothing went through, which is uh, really all that matters at the end yep. of the day. So. Stopped everything we get. And, we, and everything we shot was about 10 yards. Yeah, which is pretty good. You're going to have a faster velocity at 10 yards. Yeah. So, you know, pretty, pretty good that it held up so far. We still have some room here. And, you know, we'll just finish it off. I don't know if we want to do some 762 by 39 or by 51, and we'll see exactly, you know, push it to the limit. Yeah. All right, I just did three shots with 5.56 five, uh, green tip. 62 grain, I'm gonna do another three, see if I get penetration. I did not get penetration with the first three. Okay, so we're gonna hit it again with the AK, 762 by 39. Just took six shots of green tip from Rick. We're gonna see how it does with the AK, multiple hits. Higher, higher. There you go. There you go. All right, so it just took three shots of the AK. Uh, it didn't penetrate. We're going to do three more, see if we can get it to penetrate. Okay, did four. All right, so we just finished. I just did seven shots with my AK. Rick just did uh, six shots with his 5.56. Five, plus we also, which were our green tip, plus we did another five shots before that. So 18 rounds total. Rick, let's cut it up, see what we got. All right. And yeah, we got one penetration here a little bit. So this is from the AK round, right? Yep. 
those are from the seven rounds, seven AK rounds that you that you had. Yeah, so out of the seven AK rounds that we did at the end, we got one penetration at the end. They were all in the same spot. There. Those are all the AK rounds. Everything else, you see slight deformation. You see some separation on the edges here, but it retained everything. Yeah, so what do you think of the rig overall? I think it's impressive. At 10 yards, all those rounds, and you barely got anything through. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, so I think it definitely held up to what it promises and what the company promises. I'd feel comfortable carrying this, you know, for protection. I don't know if you would, Rick. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think it holds up. It kind of does what it says it's going to do. And if you take 18 shots to the chest, you know, you're probably having a bad day. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think it did its job, and I'm pretty impressed with how we did it. We, obviously, we have these big craters here. We did have some backface deformation. You know, you're going to feel it definitely, but at the end of the day, you know, it stops the rounds, which is what matters. All right, guys, so that's been our review from RTS Tactical, their plate carrier level 4, 10x12 with the side plates and also the mag pouch in the front. As you can see, it performed really well. It definitely exceeded my expectations. Took 18 shots. Uh, again, we finally were able to test it to the max with seven AK rounds in the same spot. Finally, the last one penetrated. But again, 17 out of 18 shots, the first 17, you know, were blocked. So I think it did pretty well. It does its job, pretty comfortable to run. I had a really good time, you know, filming this review. I really appreciate uh, Alonzo for coming out here and helping me film behind the camera. And also Rick, I think he did a great job coming out here providing his expert opinion, which I really appreciate. Also check out my sponsors uh, down in the links below if you guys are interested in this product. Also links down below. Check out FFLs uh, in Miami if you're interested. Check out Rifle Liberty. They're awesome, just $20 transfers. And that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching, appreciate the support. And let me know what you guys think down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. WRG, 